Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another review. This time it's something a little bit different. Um, it is a DC Comics Fandex. Um, superheroes and villains. Uh, it's a family field guide is what this is, and it's kind of interesting. A friend of mine got this for me for my birthday, and... Uh, it's kind of interesting, uh, kind of cool. It's got some nice artwork. This is definitely something I wouldn't buy myself. Um, but uh, she knows a huge DC guy. and uh, She picked it up at Half Price Books for $5.99. And what it is, it's a fan. Here's the back of it. So it spreads out, and it's basically a field guide index of 75 of DC Comics characters, villains, and heroes. So it kind of goes over some stuff there, blah, 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 blah. It's deluxe. It's awesome. It's huge. Um, let's see. It says, bringing the world of DC Comics to your fingertips. Fandex celebrates superheroes and villains on their larger-than-life stories in a deluxe 75 individually die-cut uh, fully color cards. Um, and Bruce Wayne, blah, blah, blah. And it kind of goes on and on and on. It's deluxe. See, it says it's deluxe. Uh, let's see. It's got 75 ind individual die-cut cards. Full color art throughout the DC Comics universe at your fingertips. It's for the whole family. Oh, isn't that nice? So yeah, kind of interesting. Um, I've never seen a Fandex before, so I don't, I'm not sure if I'm guessing this is probably the side of it there. I'm guessing this is probably made for a variety of different things, different uh, products. Um, so let's open it up. It's just in a plastic case here. Um, and then here's the Fandex itself. On the inside, it's kind of cool. Uh, we've got an example over here of what the Fandex actually looks like. There's Superman, and it looks like Poison Ivy, and Flash, and Joker, and I don't know who that is over in the... Oh, it's Wonder Woman, uh, Catwoman, Robin, uh, so all kinds of pretty cool stuff. So that's kind of neat. Um, yeah, interesting. So here it is. This is this thing is thick too. Look at that. Woo! It's basically just a fan with a bunch of stuff on there, and then it says "Meet the Artists," and it lists all of the artists that contributed to this. Kind of neat. Seventy-five icons. Woo! Of course, Bats is up front. Little Jim Lee art action. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. There's a little paper thing here. Let's see if we. Off quick plastic. I used I got a pair of toenail clippers I use for everything. These uh, are my this is what I use to get the little uh, ties off of transformers with. You guys do that? You use scissors? How do you get those off? Those are annoying, aren't they? Alright. Okay, so here it is. That's actually pretty darn awesome. Let's see here. Nice. Huh, interesting. There's an introduction. You get two Batmans. Eh, introduction and then Batman. So we've got Batman, the Joker. Looks like Nightwing. Uh, Robin. Big-headed Robin. Batgirl. It's an awesome picture of Batgirl. Oracle. In her wheelchair. <laughs> uh, Batwoman. The Huntress. Catwoman. Two-Face. The Penguin. Uh, we got here. Ross al Ghul. He looks almost like Doctor Strange there, doesn't he? The Riddler. Mr. Freeze. That's an awesome picture. Uh, Poison Ivy looking cool. Scarecrow looking cool. Uh, oh, what was Killer Croc. Yeah, pretty awesome. Oh, that's an awesome Harley Quinn. Uh, soups. Oh, we're getting, we're getting all kinds of expanded out here. Oh my goodness. Organize a little bit here. Ah, ah, ah. So I got soups. I'm only halfway through. Uh, Lois. It's like Jimmy Olsen. Superboy. Supergirl. Power Girl with enormous knockers. Lex Luthor. Brainiac. Let's see who else we got here. Uh, General Zod. Pretty awesome. Bizarro, that's a cool looking picture of Bizarro. Uh, Mongol. Uh, Doomsday. 
Superboy or Superman Prime, Superboy Prime. One woman. Uh, her mom, I can never pronounce her name. Uh, Wonder Girl. Aries. I'm surprised they don't have Athena in here. Cheetah. Ocean Manhunter. Aquaman. That's kind of a dumb picture of Aquaman. Whoa! Look at Black Manta. Boy, he looks all buggy, doesn't he? Uh, Green Lantern. The Green Lantern Core. Uh, Sinestro. I don't like that new Sinestro suit. I like the old Sinestro suit. Uh, Flash! What else we got here? The Rogues. Okay. Gorilla Grodd. Uh, let's see. Who's this? The Justice League. It looks like a Super Friends intro. Uh, let's see. Green Arrow. Black Canary. Uh, Arsenal. Speedy. Uh, Hot Man and Hot Girl. The Atom, Zatanna, the Red Tornado, uh, let's see who we got here, the Elongated Man, really him? He's not very iconic. Uh, Firestorm, uh, let's see, the Injustice League, or as I like to call them, the Legion of Doom. Ha, <laughs> they even have on the back, uh, Legion of Doom there. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, the New Gods. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at it. Uh, Dark Side, looking all kinds of awesome. Justice Society. Uh, the Spectre. He's got a goatee. Yeah, he's got a goatee now. Oh, that's weird. Uh, question. Captain Marvel, looking all badass. Black Adam. Uh, the Legion of Superheroes from the future. Uh, and then we've got, who's this? Starman. I don't like that version. Uh, let's see, who else we got? The Teen, the Teen Titans, the New Titans. Teen Titans, whatever you want to call them. Deathstroke, looking awesome. Booster Gold, followed up by the Little Mexican Blue Beetle. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Solomon Grundy, he's looking pretty badass. I like that. And then we've got Black Lightning. Eh. Low budget black exploitation character. Uh, the Metal Man, never did care for them. Uh, let's see who else. Adam Strange, he's always kind of a weird character to me. Uh, Starro the Conqueror. Yeah, that thing's kind of gross. And then we've got the Monitors. Dun 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 dun. dun. I don't know why they're even in there. And then we have an index. So yeah, <clears throat> kind of cool. Now on the back of this thing, if you look, it kind of just gives an explanation. So it's kind of like I've got a encyclopedia, the DC encyclopedia. I'll have to bust that out in a review one day. Um, that does basically, oh my gosh, this thing's all kinds of stand up. That basically does the same thing that this does. Uh, but this is just kind of a, a different different style, different pattern. Kind of cool. I like it. I'm going to have to go through and uh, look them up and read each one of them. Oh, look. This is cool. The Justice League one has the Hall of Justice on it. So yeah, pretty cool. It's a nice little birthday present, kind of fun. Um, it's pretty cheap, so if you've got a DC fan, this would be something kind of fun and different uh, to have around, laying around on the coffee table. I think it's kind of cool. So yeah, thank you very much, Kristen, uh, for the birthday present. I will enjoy it. So there it is, guys, the DC Fanex Field Guide. Thanks for watching, and look for more videos in the future.